Hey, what's up guys? Matt Modai with Dodge Jam. And uh, this video, what we're going to do, there's a bunch of different uh, sports book promotions specifically for the Home Run Derby tonight. So I went ahead and I looked at all of them and I found a couple that I, that I think are worth betting. So if there's something that I don't mention in this video, if it's on like one of the main sports books like Caesars, BetMGM, any of those, and it's not mentioned in this video, it's because I took a look at it and decided that it wasn't positive expected value. So it wasn't something that should be bet. So I'll go, I'll go into it. I have two of them that I did the research on. Before I get started, I do want to mention uh, just the Oddsdam Discord. This was something that we launched like less than a week ago. So it's still pretty much in the infancy stages, but it's a really cool sports betting community where you can, I mean, anything that you can think about regarding sports betting is probably going to be in the Discord, right? We have free picks. We have, uh, we have channels for positive EV betting strategies, just general sports betting talk, sports betting education, resources so if people have need any questions about something book specific promos <clears throat> we do have some paid stuff which is what you see up here all the paid picks but we also offer a lot of free stuff as well so i definitely recommend joining the odds jam discord again i think it'd be really helpful for you watching this video assuming that you are a sports better would really recommend checking it out it's uh the link for it is in the description of this video and it's completely free uh, at least the open to all sections are like i said we do have some paid stuff but just for you want to sign up and check it out that part's free. So the home run derby winner is uh, what I have up here. I pulled these odds from uh, just the Ajay and Futures market. They have all the best odds. Unsurprisingly, Pete Alonzo has the best odds to win, followed by Kyle Schwarber. Then there's a pretty decent gap between uh, Schwarber and then the third place per person, which is Juan Soto. Um, so the first odds boost that I wanted to talk about um, is this one here, MLB Boosters. This is on points bet. Uh, this is Pete Alonso to win the home run derby, boosted up to 230. So this is one that I would really, really recommend. I do think it's worth betting. Um, the odds jam line prices this at plus 192. The best odds as of right now are on DraftKings at plus 200. So getting him boosted up to plus 230 is something that is definitely uh, positive expected value. Even the plus 195 itself, don't really look at that in terms of anything. It's really just what you're getting, plus 230 and whether that number is positive expected value. And I think this one is. Again, the odds jam line prices this at plus 192. Granted, all of these uh, have a VIG associated with them, but regardless, uh, getting it from plus 200 to plus 230, the gap between plus 192 and plus 230 is positive expected value. And I do think that this one is worth betting. So here's gonna be the first one, um, the Pete Alonzo to win boosted to plus 230. I put the full max on this one, which is just 50 bucks. Assuming points bet takes it. All right, and the bet was accepted. Good to go. So this is the first odds boost that I do think is worth betting. 50 bucks on it. The next one, uh, so just to start off, this one is not positive expected value. I, I priced the true line of this bet at like plus 237. So this one's not plus EV. This one is not plus EV as well. Same league to win the All-Star game, the 22 World Series. Also, not really home run derby related. The one that I did like was this Derby Dingers, any player to hit a home run over 499 feet. So this one was hard to find the expected value of it because it's not like, it, it, it's really, really hard, obviously, to pull this information and to get the expected value. The research that I did, there's a couple things. Number one, uh, the Dodgers have one of the shortest home, or excuse me, center fields in all of baseball. They have one of the shortest center fields. Also, specifically, I did some research, the home run derby tonight has some favorable wind conditions. So all in all, if you just Google ball, ballpark factors specifically regarding home runs, Dodger Stadium's top five. I think it might be third or fifth, something like that. But either way, Dodger Stadium, where this is being played, is um, a hitter's park specifically for home runs because of the winds tonight, which is specific to tonight, obviously, and the uh, they're having such a shallow center field. So that's number one in regards to why I think this one's positive expected value. Number two... Uh, this one is, again, a little bit harder to attribute, but there have been eight total um, uh, uh, situations in which someone in the All-Star, or excuse me, the Home Run Derby has hit a home run over 499 feet. So there's, this has only happened eight times. With that said, four of the, those times it happened last year. Juan Soto did it, did it, who was in this Home Run Derby. Pete Alonso did it, who was in this Home Run Derby. Those two. Um, the other two aren't participating, but it happened four times in last year's Home Run Derby. Granted, last year's Home Run Derby was in Coors Field. Coors Field is as much of a hitter's park as it gets. 
Dodger Stadium is in Coors Field, but it's close. And then it also happened four times prior to that. That was all in the same year. It happened four times in the 2017 Home Run Derby. That was played in Miami, the Marlins Stadium. And all four of those were hit by Aaron Judge, who was not participating. So again, it was difficult. I couldn't, I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that I was able to calculate the exact expected or the exact line of what this should be priced at. But doing enough research based on the power hitter, <clears throat> excuse me, the power hitters that are in the Home Run Derby, the historical precedent of it happening four times last year, four times uh, prior to that, all those being in 2017. And then also the wind conditions in the stadium factors tonight led me to believe that this plus 100 is positive expected value. So this is something that I actually already locked in. If you go to my bet slip, you see open uh, Derby Dingers, a player to hit a home run. It's boosted from plus 100 to plus 125. So uh, I think it's worth betting. Make sure that you do get the boost at plus 125. But will a player hit a home run over 500 feet? I'm saying yes, and there's my logic. So let me know what you think of the video. Definitely recommend tailing the two uh, sports betting specifically to the uh, home run derby promos that I mentioned. If you are tailing, let me know what you thought. Let me know what you thought of my analysis. And that's going to be it. So thank you guys for watching, and have a good one.